don't understand what happens, do you? They make 10,000 cars, they make them exactly the same way, and one or two of them turn out to be something special. Welcome to this episode of Disrepair, 4x4 EV conversion. So nice, we did it twice. It's tough, reliable, and dependable. And I'm not talking about these guys. I'm talking about a Toyota pickup with its 22-hour motor. Check out that 4x4. That is hot. Okay. In this episode of Disrepair, we're going to convert a 22-hour pickup to an even more reliable platform, an EV. Someday, Jennifer. Someday. Now, they're very reliable trucks. Everybody knows that. But they aren't known for being fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap that old 22R motor out and put in a high-voltage Hyper 9 with seven Tesla modules. One of the first things we wanted to do before we tear into this uh, Toyota pickup was go out and see what it can do, 0 to 60. Let's see how she does with this original 22R motor. All right, James. We're going to go 0 to 60 here soon? Yeah, we're going to see um, if and when it gets to 60. Ready? Here we go. Take two. All right, we did not make it last time. James, you ready? Yep. Go. Eventually. Oh. There you go. Got it? Got it. Oh, got it. 20 seconds. <laughs> that was downhill. 20 seconds downhill. What is the future of cars? Uh, hydrogen uh, or definitely electric? electric. Yeah, hydrogen you is know. a waste of time. <laughs> but, uh, Obviously. We've got to be excited about the future. We've got to do things that make us want to live. You know, it cannot always be about problems every day. I mean, do you want to wake up every morning and everything's just a problem? Well, what, in what inspires you and what makes you excited about the future? There's got to be some things like that. Finish this up. This is my first drive of the Toy Volta. So the air conditioning is super nice. Blowing cold air in the summer. What is it, over 100 right now? And uh, we got electric power steering on this thing. That's great. Steers nice and easy. It drives good. This is a high voltage Hyper 9. Same setup we used in Carmen Electra. Yeah, and uh, it's a little different feel, I gotta admit that. It's more four wheel drivey, right? It's a little bouncy, like. That's why you'll notice the camera bouncing. Brace your spine. Uh, can you melt? Oh, Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> it's so rough out here, man. I mean, drivability-wise, it, it drives nice. It's really like, I mean, I am not having to struggle with shifting gears. You know, if you've ever driven a Toyota pickup with a 22RE in it, it's like you're shifting gears just to make a little tiny hill. You don't have to in this. It's, it, it'll pull a hill. We're going around a lot of curves. 
So you can see it actually, all the gauges are actually functional in this. You can see it's got a fuel gauge, temp gauge, tachometer works. All that stuff is actually reading straight off of the electronics here. Hold on, okay, it's green. All right. Toyota pickup with its single Hyper 9 did its zero to 60 in 13 seconds, a seven second improvement over the original. Just imagine if Marty McFly had had a Hyper 9 rather than that 22R motor. He might have actually won that race. And then who knows what the future would have held. I would have hit that Rolls Royce. Now this is going to sound controversial, but we feel like this EV conversion is at least, if not more, reliable than the original Toyota 22R motor. But here's one thing you can't argue with. This truck has more pep. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with some more cool projects on disrepair.